Okay, guys. So we've been working a lot on last to pass, uh, like we did last class. After you guys stand up, be aware of where you're stepping, so to your opponents don't reach your feet. So again, I'm gonna show one more time. Every time that you're gonna stand up to open his guard, do not grab the gi and do this. Because his okay. pants gonna be like this and you won't have grip anymore. Yes. Okay. So gonna be and he's still not if he has a good close guard, he's not gonna open. So always place your hand inside of his knee. Okay? Never here. Don't do this. So you're gonna stand up, be aware of where you're stepping. Uh, what I like to do, step outside first, and now you're gonna lean your weight to the shoulder so you can uh, Stand up right with your knee under his hip. So if I'm here, I'm controlling his upper body. And when I step, he's gonna try to catch my, my leg. He can't, he can't reach because I'm controlling him. So now, once I lean my weight forward and stretch to stand up, my knee gonna be already underneath his hip and I will already apply the pressure. Sometimes you can slide in Adjust your grip and open. Sometimes he's not gonna give you this space. So what are you gonna do? You here, here. Grab the belt, move up, then you open. Okay. So now, let's say you're here. You're gonna do it with base. My opponent's gonna set up his grip. He's gonna do his lasso. So every time my opponent control the lasso, me, never put your knee on the ground. Okay. If you put your knee on the ground, he's gonna bump you to the side that he has the last one, and he's gonna sweep you. See, it's gonna be really hard to come back. So always grab something. Don't leave your arm fluctuating like that. Or you grab the belt, or you grab the collar. Make sure it's tight, you control his leg. This is gonna give you time to think. Now, what are you guys gonna do? You guys have to uh, understand what your style to pass. It's more like moving, it's more with the pressure, so if you like to pass on the pressure, keep him here, connect your elbow in, put his leg down, do not let his leg be in between you and him. This is bad for you. You want to apply the pressure. So stand up, push down, stay tight. This is really bad for his hip. So eventually he's going to get tired. So now, once your hand is spinning outside, you can apply more pressure to pass. So you bring your elbow in, move your shoulder, See, I'm applying the pressure this way. If he bump me, let's say he's gonna kick my, my armpit to bump me that way, I will fall to my elbow, do the other one step to pass. So always spin your hand. You wanna show your palm to outside, okay? You wanna post the back of your hand right here on his thigh, okay? One more time. I'm gonna be passing the pressure. The first pass is gonna be on the pressure. From here, I'm tight. He's gonna try to push me away. He's trapped. I'm gonna hold it. So once I'm here and I'm applying the pressure, my hand is spinning out. So I will move, spin my hand out, and come back here with the pressure. Now I will open his leg so I can pressure. The concept of this position is the pressure, the balance, and the hand spinning out. Okay? Pay attention to this, never try to pass with your hand in. But he's gonna sweep you anyway. Even if you get to the side control, he still can sweep. Okay? If you end up here, grab the leg. If you end up here on his side control, he's gonna grab the leg and sweep you that way. See? He's gonna end up here. So make sure every time that you pass it, always point your hand out right here. So he can sweep you anymore. A lot of pressure, good balance, spinning your hand outside. The person on the bottom, both hands working on the time, okay? Make sure to control something, put your lasso, put deep under his armpit, and check his balance, okay? Okay, so now, we did on the pressure, passing the lasso on the pressure. Now we're gonna do more on the Korean style when you when you like to use more mobility, you know? The, the kind of person that like to move a lot. So, if you're one of those people that like to use Soriano pass, you like to break the grips and move a lot, so that's the kind of pass that you have to use for. As soon as you open and connect the, the deep last, 
So now, you're gonna look for uh, to open space between you and your offer, okay? You're not gonna stay here applying pressure. So you're gonna connect the grip on the leg and walk away. So your hip gonna be above of your head, okay? The line of your hip has to pass the line of your head. So you're here, you're gonna be here. You can also hold the, the belt or the collar to don't get swept or he don't break your balance. So now if you try to pull me towards your hand, I have my grips and I have my balance. So try, just let me push up the position. Look, you're gonna be out here, walking away from here. You see my hip? Look the angle of my hip, here. See, I'm walking away from here. Once I see he's having problems to control my balance, I will walk towards the leg that I'm holding. Okay, so remember to spin your hand outside. So you're gonna be here, walk, walk, walk. If he sit up, that's the moment that I go. If he sit up like that, I will do the Toriano pass and point my palm outside at the same time. I will drop in my shoulder on his chest, right here. Um. <laughs> One more time. I'm here. I walk away, you're gonna sit up, I'll pass. So you guys can see the Toriano movement happens on the same side that I spin my hand. I'll do this, okay? Yeah. So we have this, we can have all the options from that too that you guys can use. If you're here, you can, he's always protecting his leg to don't let me walk towards to the leg, you have the second option here. You can always use your knee against his foot, walking away. If this hand is free, go for his foot, pull out. Now, keep the grip, okay? I will point my elbow to him and walk towards to his head. One more time. This is my favorite one. So you grab it here, now your forearm gonna pass across his chin. So you point your elbow towards his face and you walk here. Now you play the leg down the way. Okay? So we have two options. We have one walking away, and passing. And we have one grabbing his foot. Keep passing to the opposite side. So, these two options, you, you guys can move side to side and start to apply pressure on your arm. The first option is more like if you're strategic, you, get, you like to stop, think, apply the pressure to have, let's say, you felt stronger than your opponent. Your both grips are strong, he can break your grips. You go for a hug and pass through his guard. But if you feel like, okay, my openness is stronger, heavier, I need to use more of my speed. I need to walk around him, make him tired. Do the Toriano, come back, pass, combine both. Like do one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Okay? Any questions? Okay. Let's do it slow, okay? If you're gonna do the second option, do one side at a time. Do, do the first one and the second one, and then switch. If you're gonna do the first one, it's up to you. Do two times, okay? Any other question? No? Let's go. Hands up. One, two. Find it out.